All right, folks. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with the tech difficulties here. Uh, as my computer decided to randomly restart, because that's, of course, exactly what it should do. Um, the curse. It happens. It does. Um, all right. So. We had. Uh, we I had... believe the last thing Sophie was trying to pull the. Um, right. to her with the Naga cube. I wanted one. I didn't tractor. want tractor. Yeah, want she had the tractor. tractor. Okay. Droids. Yes. All right. Yeah. I, I, I want to grab go. one and I want to I want to keep it and I want to study it later because it's it's it, we're allowed to destroy them, but I don't want to destroy them. I want to study them and I want to keep them. So I want to right. use my tractor and I want to take one. That's right. Okay. So are you you're doing it to just one of the random other cubes? Yeah, just one that hasn't been infected yet. I just want to grab one. Okay, excellent. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of them, so you play out that cipher and oof, one of them uh, <laughs> sucks over, pops into your hand, and uh, and you have it. And it has no momentum, so it just like arrives with like no discernible uh, movement. Enough. Put that in a pocket somewhere. So, no, that's mine now. That's mine. We can break all the other ones, but this one's mine. Yeah. So, it, it, take, it takes a boat around for that to arrive. Um, and uh, so, it, it floats over. It's not, you know, probably it takes time to fiddle with the, uh, the device and get the attractor set up. And, uh, okay, so about the time. So, Dallas is slapping this on. Another cube. Is flying across the room. Um, Duvain is speaking in tongues. And uh, what are Cole and Loretta doing? So I have the ability to discern motives. Mm -hmm. Do I think this thing is super hostile or <laughs> do I think it can be reasoned with? That's that's a good question. So you've got very little info other than it, it creepily announcing its name out of somebody else's uh, voice. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And this will be a case of a hidden uh, challenge. You're not because you don't know the level of this creature uh -huh, or this uh -huh, being uh -huh. or whatever it is. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so you've got a skill. So that's going to reduce whatever the difficulty is by one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, what else are we applying? Are you spending effort? Uh, I don't, I don't know if I should. I only got five points left. <laughs> well, so so you have your recoveries. Do it. Oh, that's true. I do, and I can do a thing. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll spend it. I forgot that I could do that. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'll spend it. So that's two. So I brought it down this hidden DC by two. By two. Yep. So roll. <laughs> really? That's a nineteen. Hey. Hey. Okay. Minor effect. So you yeah, no, a minor uh, effect here. My minor effect is not going to be effectable. Well, about, so those are just about hurting people. <laughs> those, those those are just suggestions. Okay. Um. So I mean, they can be other things, and in in some cases, you know, the minor or major effects don't necessarily um matter. But I'm going to assume here that this, whatever this is, is alien and, you know, somewhat, you know, out, out of uh, uh, comprehension. So it is indeed a little bit difficult. Um, but you get the sense that it's not the friendly giant yeah probably somewhere between active harm and just utter disregard for your well-being that's kind of what i thought but i wanted to make sure <laughs> have to get him off of there <laughs> 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 Yeah, Loretta, you gotta, you gotta unplug them. Ooh, I don't know that I'm good at that. 
Uh, but. Then Sophie, 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 destroy it. <laughs> So these no! are the things that are all kind of happening at roughly the same time. No, I know. What oh, I yeah. will do is I will use enthrall. Okay, so you're going to try and enthrall the alien intelligence. I am continuing <laughs> to talk to this alien intelligence. Okay. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Excellent. All right. So I already started to say, like, well, hello, my name is Loretta how are you doing uh how how can we like what how did you come to be here what's your goal how can we help you out like i'm just trying to have a conversation with this thing and keep its attention okay also it's our goal to gain as much information as we can so really that's also what i'm doing here i'm trying to use enthrall but also get as much information as i can out of this okay um, Alright, so you grab and keep another creature's attention, even if the creature can't understand you. For as long as That's you right. do nothing but speak, and you can't even move, uh, the other creature takes no action other than to defend itself, even over multiple rounds. If the creature is attacked, the effect ends. Okay. So, while this is oh, happening... being attacked, though, so that doesn't make any sense. Well, well it isn't yet. Okay. Yeah, Dallas hasn't shot it yet. He's Not yet. Stuck this, to. He's, he's stuck this hindering, hindrance. You know, he's put the restraining bolt on it. Uh, <laughs> which will which will last for a little bit. Actually, I think it'll just last the one round. Um, and it and it's speaking through somebody. Um, but it is it is glowing. So this is this is not an action, it's undertaking. This is just an effect. Everybody to make a might defense roll. Uh oh. No. Uh and we can hmm. spend level of effort to do that, right? That's right. You can you can spend a level of effort here. So you can spend three points out of your might pool to reduce the difficulty by one. You yep. win that for sure. Oh no. So all the way so we just I don't know how this works. I'm just gonna roll a D20. So so, so I'll, ta- I'll talk. I'll talk you through it because that's the okay. one of the one of the points here. Um, so um, so in this case, the challenge is hidden, so you don't know what it is. So you don't know what your target is, but you can spend three points out of your might pool if you want, minus any edge, right, to reduce whatever this challenge is by one. So effectively, giving yourself a plus three on your roll might be the easier way to look at it in the hidden challenges. And you can have skills, you can be trained in things like might defense and, and stuff like that. But if if they if they so if those apply, those also come into play. I don't think overcoming fear and intimidation helps me here. Not in this case. No. That's might it might help me because I'm the one plugged in. <laughs> this is no. this is an actual physical effect because of the light. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Does so an edge cool. make it easier or harder? Easier. So if in, if oh. it would normally cost you three, whatever you calculate your spend is, you subtract one off of that. Can, can my my goggle my glasses that I had on that I turned on while this was happening can that act as an asset to reduce whatever this is? In this case, sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if I don't have human eyes? That means the difficulty is so high it doesn't matter. <laughs> you have you have you have photo receptors, Dallas. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I rolled shit anyway. So. Yeah, me too. All right. Uh, so what did you roll? Uh, I'll go through first. So Duvain, what did you roll? And did you I spend any a- effort? I rolled a 10, and I definitely spent out of my might pool. Okay. Uh, so. All right. I reduced and... it here by three. Yeah. Yeah. So I even so... put a 13 total. Yeah, I won't worry about the total. Just your raw roll, and then I'll, I'll calculate okay. it. All right. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Um, perfect. Okay. Uh, Sophie. I rolled an eight. 
<laughs> oh, okay. no. I did subtract a thing for my effort. Yes, you did spend effort. Okay. I and... am wearing goggles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, uh, Cole. Uh, I spent a level of effort, uh, and I wheeled my way into having an asset with the goggles or glasses as well. Uh, okay. I rolled a seven. I rolled a seven. <laughs> okay. All right. And Dallas. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> Excellent. <gasps> and uh, Going great. I rolled an 18. Okay. Everyone except Loretta. I did blinded. not spend effort. I just rolled it, and it was luckily high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... Uh, so everyone uh, who, everyone other than Loretta is currently blinded. Oh no! Because you're blinded by the night. The light. <laughs> Revved up like a deuce, another runner yeah. in the night. <laughs> or if you're like me through most of my life, wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the night. <laughs> Can we have a variant rolls, uh, the Twitch sings karaoke yes. thing? Yes, I have that installed, by the way. I've just been working on getting the right setup and everything to actually do it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Mm. So, to wrap things up here, because we're at the end of our night, it's been cut short by our recurrent tech problems. Yeah. Uh, Duvain, this, like, voice just is speaking through you, although it then goes quiet as it is talked down or enthralled by Loretta while everyone else is blinded. So Loretta can't move. Everyone else is blind. I'm just going to oh, ask, no. when you have this presence in your head that then goes quiet, what does Duvain do? Sort of big picture. What what kind of actions would Duvain take? Um, I feel like Duvain, given his past, is um, kind of taken with the idea that this intelligence doesn't have to worry about a fleshly body as so much of his was torn away from him. And I, I think he's kind of trying to figure out how he could uh, uh, be like this. Oh, how, how Duvain can become a disembodied intelligence? I mean, it's my dream, so why can't it be his? Well, the good thing is is it's the bleeding edge, so you, Duvain actually knows he can just go to a place and do that. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> that's just, that's okay. just a matter of money. Oh, well, in that case, then he's like, oh, yeah, I've dealt with things like this before. Um, yeah, I think... In that case, he he knows that we've we, we've done what we came for. Let's get it and go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so I, think he, so I think he tries to disconnect and say, "Let's go." It may not okay. be able to. Yeah, yeah. Stop. So he's he's gonna like plug out, sure. Uh, and the the cubes on the fritz, right? It's like flickering because it's got this, um, you know inhibitor basically placed on it this nanotech inhibitor um so sophie's pulled a data cube off right she's tucking tucking in um and then so duvain unjacks from this cube which is still glowing okay good it didn't lock me in i was afraid of that So what would, because uh, Loretta has to basically just keep talking without moving right. to keep it enthralled. So what would Dallas and Cole do? Go oh. ahead, Cole. <laughs> is there, so is there any way that I know the layout of the room well enough to operate slightly without sight? Or is that just like a non non-starter? So, so it flared briefly to blind you, but then it faded down. So it lasts like a few seconds, and then your vision returns. All right. Um, I would, I would basically stow any of the data pads I could, like other data pads I could find, because we were sent to collect data. Uh, yeah. And then I would essentially take uh, a the equivalent of C four, 
take out the toothpick, shove it into the C4, and put it on top of the glowing cube. Like, we should leave. No, we should take the glowing cube with us. Oh, we should leave. No, no, that's this is what we came for. It's what we're getting paid <laughs> for. We uh, we also were getting paid to destroy this room if we wanted to, and that thing looks dangerous. It literally spoke with your mind. I mean, I let it. I didn't try to stop it. I don't know that, if you could have stopped it. Uh, do they? I don't know, but I, I, I wanted to see what I had to say. We're going to have to report that back to uh, Watchtower <laughs> HQ, but... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think we should smash things. <laughs> oh, my God. Cole, blow it up. I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to use my hacker skill to hack in and start deleting shit okay. off their mainframe. So. So, that's what, so that's what you would do. Cole would start smashing stuff. Yeah, I'm setting a timer, basically a, a, a detonation. So Sophie's been grabbing data cubes. <laughs> These ones are mine. If you want to take some back to HQ, you need to get your own. <laughs> <laughs> perfection all right meanwhile loretta is just talking to this thing and enabling everybody else to do what they want to do yeah absolutely yeah no i mean like loretta literally has to keep talking to keep that's this right thing i'm just i'm just a non-stop stream of words right now i imagine loretta like an auctioneer more or less but much slower i take my time oh. all right and uh what about duvain finally Um, Duvain wants to grab that glowing cube and take it back and he'll hand it in. He's not trying to jack back into it or anything, but let's just give it to the bosses and let them figure out what to do with it. I like how everybody's doing this while blind. No, no, your vision returned. He said that. Oh, it returned. He said it returned. I missed it. I missed that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were all bumbling around in the dark. <laughs> all right. So, so we've got we've got one thing to resolve, which is whether the cube gets destroyed or recovered. Well, I am recovering some, but I am not uh, returning them to our bosses. So, well, <laughs> the one that's lit, can I can I fast talk Duvain into letting it go? <laughs> wow. Possibly, I think for expediency, we should just decide. Uh, yeah, whether that's whether true. Let, let it happen or not. Let's, let's let's just give it to them. The bosses can, if they want to destroy it, they can destroy it, and we'll destroy everything else here, so they don't keep any copies of it. I don't think bringing this along with us is going to end well. So yeah, I don't, I don't want this anything where near our ship. There are probably in the room like these big, like shielded metal crates and boxes and things like that. It's still, like we can still put like in a Faraday cage, and I won't be able to get any signal in or out. Duvain, you seem really dead set on actually enabling this uh, thing that, again, and I will reiterate with emphasis, spoke through you. I was jacked in. I am aware. <laughs> I am always jacked in. That is literally <laughs> what I am. Yes, yeah, Sophie. I want to smash it. Smash it, Sophie. Smash it. <laughs> smash it with like a wrench that I just yes. have. <laughs> Please do. While we're having this conversation, Sophie just like wanders which, over, just like which normally wouldn't do much because it's like resilient, it's crystal, but it's been very weakened by this like nano viral infection, and so it shatters. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So what have y'all done now? So the wrench comes cracking down and it shatters. The wrench uh, shatters or the. No, the crystal shatters. shatters. <laughs> the crystal oh. shatters. That would have been hilarious. Nah. The wrench also shatters. Oh, that was my favorite wrench. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be trying to take this thing back with us. All right. So. So to so, our assessment, I'm with Cole on this one. So when you guys go to like exfiltrate out of the station, what kind of approach do you take? Sneak your way out, shoot your way out. <laughs> Distraction, because Cole blows the shit up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think 
we better go like it seems like you have a lot of problems <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's on a timer like it's on a like a delay of some sort so we get away from it as fast as we can and then that thing will blow and create some sort of distraction for us and okay. hopefully we will go away unabated mm -hmm. okay all right uh and you exfiltrate now do you do like a straight you just go to the ship do you have the ship like start blowing the shit out of things like um how how would you leave the station when you when you vacate preferably without drawing attention to ourselves yeah. if we don't think we've been like super made I mean, we right. beat up colin but well, you're, you're on a million camera feeds fuck i forgot about that we set off explosives in the computer room and yeah well, no you set off explosives in a lab can we do anything about those camera feeds on our way out yes you could you have a lot of people who are very good at hacking so probably well, well let's do something about those camera feeds yeah let's make it leave. let's make it colin colin did all of this poor Actually, colin. no you know what this is, <laughs> this is when sophie is perfect sophie can you make sure that they aren't able to get any of the data from these cameras you want me to make it so that the the, the, the data is destroyed and messed up and it doesn't work anymore and that they can't access it correct that's right that's mm. right sugar yes, okay ma'am D destroy this, all the data you can destroy. This, this sounds I, like Sophie's cup of tea. I just, I'm just gonna override the whole entire com the, the camera system, and I'm just gonna need, I need a battery, and I'm gonna take someone's like blaster and like tinker and okay, battery and plug it into the thing, and I'm just gonna, and then it's just shouldn't all go. Just cat videos, and all, all, <laughs> all cat videos, yeah. All cat videos all, all the time. Have, do you have the computer skill too? Sophie? Uh, no. Okay, so can I help you with my being trained yeah. in the computer skill? Absolutely. Yep. And I will use good advice. <laughs> yeah. I'll Our, say, now partners. listen, Sophie, and I say, because I, I, have, I have my part, so I've done my fair share of jacking in. Uh, but I will say, <laughs> I, will, I will give her some advice based on my experiences. <laughs> All right. You talk each other through your jobs. That's this is right. what I'm good at. Why are you giving me advice? <laughs> that's that's how me and Loretta feel like useful. As we just <laughs> you just talk. People I'm just through I'm giving her. I'm like, yep, that's right. Don't don't forget to do X Y Z. Perfect. You're doing great. This is going real well. I f I believe. Thank in you for you. the this motivational is... words. Yeah. That's <laughs> basically, that. you're doing a great yeah. job. The announcer of, of Sophie's actions. That's right. right. And then, yeah, then she connected the, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. She's so doing you, perfect work. You delete the trail of evidence behind you uh, and you make your way uh, back out to the solar winds and uh, leave while the station is totally just on the fritz. Like when you're, when you're walking down corridors, people are running around, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, you probably have a few run-ins with uh, security, but you manage to, you know, talk your way through or shoot them, one or the other. Uh, and exit the station. So that is where we're going to end with a little taste of Cypher. Uh, sorry, folks. That, that pass out some... snacks. <laughs> yeah, pass out <laughs> snacks. <laughs> well, now you got to burn, you know, set out. It probably takes you like a couple of weeks, if not a month or more, to get back to the belt and, and, and we just had an ordeal i'm sure we're all hungry after that so we need to keep up our strength so uh space mom is going to pass out snacks and make sure we're all doing okay <laughs> this is the after action self-care mm -hmm. absolutely Excellent. right all right so we will leave it there so thanks folks uh for tuning in uh thanks players for joining us it has thanks for running it Dan. introduce yeah thanks thank you always you. fun <laughs> it's so much fun excellent so we'll just go around uh quick cognizant of uh of time and uh everyone can uh sign off remind us uh where we can see you and give us your favorite moment and uh we'll start with we'll do the reverse order ish and we'll start with alexis hi i'm alexis uh you can find me at box Finato, right up here above my head uh 
I am usually streaming over on Dice Priori. That is where I live and breathe and spend most of my time. But uh, when I when I have the opportunity, I'm I'm here on variant roles. Um, I am going to be running if you are if you are looking for that uh, that lovely critical role fix next week while they are off air. I will be running a Teldori one shot on Tuesday next week. Uh, so you can find that over on Dice Priori at 9.30 p.m. Central. Uh, we'll be doing a little one shot. And um, yeah, that's that's me. Uh, follow me on Twitter to find out all the other nonsense I'm at. And I, let's see, my favorite moment. Ooh, I think, I think my favorite moment was me just uh, enthralling the guard while everybody else just waylaid him. <laughs> yeah. Just talking at the guard and, and having everybody else just just take care of everything. That's right. That's right. Excellent. <laughs> just just making sure everybody else had their opportunity to do what they wanted to do. <laughs> Talk his ear off so he can get punched in the face again. That's right. <laughs> in true space mom fashion. Yeah. Just enabling everybody else to be to be their best selves and do what they want to do. Perfect. Excellent. Taryn. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm Taryn. You can find me at Tarzan Nozzi. I uh, usually do variant role stuff. Um, I will be <laughs> trying to reprise my role as Sweets on Saturday night for the Invisible Sun as the sun burns because last week was a, uh, as they say, shit show. Um, so, and then also <clears throat> on Sunday, I am wrapping up this week and next week our run of Urban Shadows. Um, so join us as we kind of work through our finale um for at least this season so um <laughs> nox is yelling at me in chat um but yeah my favorite moment for tonight was uh one watching people like interact with cypher for the first time because i love the system and it's it's always fun kind of it's got kind of a little bit of both you know the pbta and d20 and that kind of stuff and i like it a lot um but also just sophie in general her whole energy is just my favorite <laughs> so yeah. anders always brings the best characters mm -hmm. so good yeah excellent uh adam uh hi uh i'm adam you can find me on twitter sometimes at adam underscore j underscore pearson uh, i also live in the variant role discord and and lurking all the time so i don't have to do work uh, <laughs> uh my favorite moment was probably uh was probably Duvet jacking in, getting the, the deep evil voice being spoken to us, and then tech problems just immediately crashing the stream. It was just like super perfect timing. It was just like, oh God, what's happening? And then... <laughs> <laughs> yep, just... it was so on the nose. Well, the, al the alien intelligence infected my computer. Exactly. Uh, right. You yeah. were cursed. Yeah. You were too good. You acted so well, your computer freaked the hell out and restarted. Yeah, my computer's like, <laughs> my computer yeeted right the hell out of there. That's right. It really did. Matthew Foreman would be so proud. He would. He would. <laughs> All right. Anders. Um, I'm Anders. You can find me on the internets at Anders underscore D underscore K. Um, this Saturday. Uh, 10 a.m. EST. If you are awake at that time, you can find me on Unmade Gaming. I'm going to be streaming a little game called The Secrets of Cats, where cats are magical creatures who have to protect humans. And it very much reminds me of the musical Cats, which is great. Um, so if you like cats, you should check it out. Um, other than that, I just am on the internet. So I'm on Variant Rolls stuff and yeah. Nox is yelling at you in chat. That's about... right, she is. <laughs> Fall of Magic. <laughs> oh, and I'm doing Fall of Magic with Nox after <laughs> I play Cats. I get to play lots of fun Amazing. games on Saturday. It's great. Um, my favorite moment was when we were talking to the guard and people were distracted and Dallas was just just said Cole, and Cole just immediately knew to smack the crap out of the yeah, guard. That was a great moment. <laughs> I was just like, Cole, you know what to do. <laughs> so good. The, the teamwork, the... Oh, that was good. That was great. Perfect. It was a very Excellent. good scene. I loved it, yes. Indiana Jones style. <laughs> so good. So good. Because Cole so kind of is moment. Indiana Jones. <laughs> it's great. Space Deanna Jones? Space Deanna Jones. 
big Deanna Jones. Oh, I'm going to be talking like Loretta right. for like a week now. Uh, Kyle. Um, hi, I'm Kyle. I'm uh, Tetoscald um, on Twitter and also on blog at Tetoscald.me where I write on Dungeon World and D&D and RPGs pretty much uh, uh, from time to time. Sometimes I get real active and sometimes I don't. It's fine. It's just for fun. And I live here at Variant Rolls now, apparently. Um, not quite as much as Dan does, but I'm working on it. Um, normally, you would find me on Sundays at... Uh, wow. Uh, normally, you would find me on Sundays at, uh, at, at 11 a.m. Central, but we're on hiatus for a couple of weeks for a Gothic brunch where you'll take care of family stuff, but then we'll be back on July 14th. Also, starting the second Friday of July... I think that's what it is, is for a Dungeon of the Mad Mage for a few weeks for our big end cap as I play Halister Blackcloak, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And I'll have my, yeah. So, um, and then occasional other Dungeon Worldy stuff because I love Dungeon World so much. So keep an eye out for those things. Um, and in my favorite moment, other than the thoughts that went through Duvain's head when he, because he had no idea what Sophie really was when Sophie started tearing. The first time, Sophie's like, oh, I can do computer things too. Tick, 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 and everything just goes, sets off all the alarms. And he's like, oh, well, there, there goes that. No, my f- real favorite moment actually was just the idea that as he jacks in and all these streams are going by, and for the first time, he has no idea what all this stuff is because it's alien symbols and glyphs and whatnot. And that idea was, uh, that was something. Excellent, excellent. Uh, yes, so you can find me here and on the internet, uh, MadSci DM. Uh, my favorite moment was introducing three new people to Cypher, which is always one of my favorite things to do. So I hope they enjoyed it and will play again. And uh, yeah, so tune in. Subscribe, follow, all that fun stuff. Trans Lifeline this month. That's yes. right. Yep. So, all the bits, all the donations, all the sub money. Yes. Uh, so, so far we've raised about 400 bucks uh, to give to Trans Lifeline. Um, so we got the rest of this week, including this weekend, to raise more funds to donate. So please, uh, any cheers, subs, all that stuff, uh, direct donations will go to Trans Lifeline. Uh, you can find me back here on Saturday night with As the Suns Burn. Uh, and basically, we got a full pack of scheduling pretty much on the weekends. So Saturdays and Sundays, almost any time except early in the day, you will find us uh, running something here pretty much for the next uh, month or so. And uh, scattered stuff throughout the week uh, on Monday and Thursday and some other stuff. So best way keep tuned in on uh, Twitter and I am going to outro us on that opener because I want to show it off again uh, and that's the new opener for Bleeding Edge so I it's will so let good. that sign you guys out. Good night everybody. <laughs>